Hello everybody and welcome back to Tycoon City, New York. We're back here in uh, Greenwich Village where we're uh, trying to flush out the district before we move on. So uh, if we'll see here, what am I, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the map, that's what I want. Alright, so if we spin around Greenwich Village, we've got these four blocks completed. This one's half completed. This one's already being completed by the city, which is okay. It doesn't have to be completely flushed out by us, I just want it to be completely flushed out. So we can work around the other people's buildings. This is mine. This is mine. And this is mine, yes. And our headquarters is right next to the Flatiron building, and it is looking lovely. So are all these guys upgraded? They should be, yes. Okay, good. So we can keep focusing on building up the residences, but for right here we're going to put another store. Yeah, I'm really good at speaking. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll know that. Alright, um, what are you? Staple. Uh, sure. Our bookstore, bookstore, put another bookstore over here. Actually, no, I need two small stores, so let's see what we can fit in here you know, that people actually want. Not that. Not that either. Nope. When they do want a Lacoste, um, I don't want to put it here though. We've already got one over there, so maybe I'll put it right here. Yeah, sure. Oh, actually not right there. I'll put it on this corner. That's, that's good. Shoe store. Put it right there. And we've run out of money. Brilliant. Alright, let's upgrade these two. While they're here, I accidentally clicked on Granite's Village and not the actual store. There we go. Use this one. And these sign. And let's see. So we want some appeal, of course. But we definitely want some beauty and satisfaction first. So we're going to put those out. Now, do these add satisfaction at all? No, but they definitely add appeal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, sh a rack. We just need... Can I put stuff on the roof of this one? No. But I can just do this. There we go, there's some flowers. 60%, that's good enough for me. I'm not planning on uh, headquarters for those guys, so as long as people are satisfied some of the time, that's fine with me. Alright. Go, and we'll get a white banner. Customer satisfaction, we'll get some benches over here. And a shoe rack. Headquarters for the Italian restaurant chain grows to 112 meters. Oh good. So our chain grew because our daily profit is good. So I can show you what that looks like. So as you can see, it is now taller than the flat iron building. This bit got a little bit taller. So if we look at the information, we're now on three, I believe. Yes. And uh, so we're at 78% rating. Our chain profit yesterday was 25. The average per day is 15, which is good. So uh, once we start building more of these, it will go up even higher. And then this will grow to be eight. I don't know if you can, if you can see that on here, but if you switch from headquarters growth to business and chain, if you just watch right here, you'll be able to see kind of what the tallest uh, bit of this will look like. And it kind of looks like uh, an imitation Chrysler building or kind of like a building that's in downtown Manhattan. I think it's... I can't remember what the, what the address is, but whoa, the ground is freaking out there. Eh, you know, one ground texture glitch in the whole game is okay for me. We're going to upgrade the flat iron building, because we can just put potted plants everywhere. I do like that this one actually had diagonal and wasn't just like this all the way down. 
We have 60 upgrade credits, that's it. Let's see if this is even by threes. Oh, it almost was. <laughs> Alright, that's okay, we'll improvise. Four and four with two gap in the middle. And then we'll put some bushes. And if you are having trouble getting somewhere into a hard spot, you can just place it somewhere else and drag it in. There we go. Make it nice with bushes. Ta-da! Now I would do the same thing on this other side, but I don't think we have enough points for that. We can at least try and put the planters on the ends, and then get the shrubs and just put them here. Every four apart. There we go. That looks nice. We'll actually do this and this and that. That's kind of like the middle entrance. And then we'll just put two tall ones. There we go. Alright, can we, we can get it to 100%. We'll just put uh, on the back here. There and there. Uh, and then we can have one here and one there. There we go. It's nice and flowered up and it's at 100% everything. So, customer satisfaction should go up a lot. It's just a tourist attraction. I mean, in real life, it is just an office building. I don't really... There is a Lego store in it, I think. I think. I can't remember if that's where the Lego store is. I know there's a Lego store in a cool building. Like a new one that they're opening. But I, th I think it's in the Flatiron building. If it's not, I'm sure I will be corrected as soon as I go on the internet later. Uh, and look it up. Alright, let's get some other things. We haven't gotten luxury apartments here yet. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do that very thing. We're going to get some luxury apartments. It's not going to fit there, is it? Nope. It is not. <laughs> of course not. Alright, we'll put it right there behind the Lacoste clothing store. There we go. A nice expensive luxury apartment. With its black doorway that just goes into nothing. Alright, so the last street for Greenwich Village is this one. So this is the border between Greenwich and Chelsea. So we should be able to, to flush this out quite easily if we just keep putting apartments. Mm -hmm. mm. I'll put that there. Alright, what are you? You're a pet store owned by the city. I'm going to buy you and destroy you. Sorry, pet store. I do like pets, but it's facing the wrong direction, and it's really going to annoy me. See, as someone who likes New York and has been there quite a few times, I like the fact that all like the buildings usually line up on two blocks and then the ends. If there's no corners, it's just the ends of the buildings. Although, usually there are corner buildings. Sometimes there aren't, like with row houses. So I like just building it like that. I don't know. Call me weird. I, I mean, I am weird, but... I like to be accurate, which is not something many people try and do in video games when they're playing them, except for me. I just like making nice looking neighborhoods, and I think Greenwich Village is a nice looking neighborhood. With all the row houses. I don't know, something about row houses just have this uh, nice charm in my opinion. Especially when they're next to like a nice park like this with the arch and stuff. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm sure someone out there will agree with me. Are these part of, uh, oh, they're Chelsea Piers. They're their own district, technically. And these are North Chelsea Piers, yeah. What is this? This is a historic hotel. Oh, that's a big hotel. These are stepped Art Deco apartments. This is a limestone apartment. So the city is basically just building apartments. Where are all the uh, competitor buildings? I'm looking for them. I'm not finding them. I'm trying to figure out where they started. This is owned by Francis de Mill. Uh, they're in Midtown. Chocolate store, traveling. Oh, here's some competitors' businesses. Nancy Rockwell, and no. 
Uh, grocery store. Friends of the Mill. There we go. Ooh. St. Patrick's Cathedral looks very nice. And there's nowhere to put things here, which is kind of annoying. Ah. Oh, well. Can we put stuff on the rock? No. I know I can upgrade the Empire State Building. Yeah. You can just add pennant flags outside, but what I do it, like doing is just adding a whole bunch of American flags. See, you can do the small ones that cost one less, but they do exactly the same. There we go. Ta-da! Oh, did I miss one on the other side? Yes. And then you can just get a whole bunch of those pennant flags. In red, white, and blue. And then not have enough to... So then you take the flags off the ends. And then you're like, okay, now I can finish. There we go. Ta-da! Red, white, and blue, yay! Okay. That's, by the way, this is not what the Empire State Building looks like. This side is flat, and it's also not on a block by itself. I always, I, it's it's amazing how, I mean, I understand for this game, because it's like a smaller world and whatever, but um, in Independence Day, part of which takes place in New York, you know, the scene where the Empire State Building gets destroyed by the aliens and stuff like that, um... It always amazes me how they put the Empire State Building at, like, the end of a street like this. One, this here is more accurate, because it's just at... It takes up the edge of a block on whatever street this is in real life. And I don't know why they would put it on... I, like, it doesn't really matter. It just... It's one of those things that annoys me for no reason. <laughs> uh, it's one of those things that I wish I didn't get annoyed at, but I do. I wish I could upgrade the Chrysler Building, too, because it's my favorite building ever. Look at it, it's so shiny. Anyone who doesn't like Art Deco architecture is evil. Because this is a beautiful building. <laughs> the Empire State Building, also Art Deco, not quite as beautiful. But the Chrysler Building is just a b beautiful piece of architecture. Alright. How is our money going? Oh, we got plenty of money. Okay, let me let me stop rambling about buildings and actually finish building what I was building. How many times can I say building in one sentence? Who knows? We're not going to find out today. No, not a student. What? Oh, for God's sake. No, hold on. I accidentally built these too far over. Good thing there is a move along sidewalk button. Oh boy. Okay. I was like, why isn't this fitting here? It should. There we go. Finish that. Alright. Alright. We'll fill out the rest of this block with. Um, Hmm, that is a perfect square. I didn't never notice that. It doesn't look like a square because, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, there's some sidewalk in front. But it is apparently a square. Yeah, sure, we'll just do that. Sure, why not? Okay. Greenwich Village is on its way to being flushed out. I think this... Oh, no, that park's... Duh, of course not. It's a park. Okay, so then it comes down here and is this big. Are the... Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Uh, so then it comes to here, and then up this way, and then this way. Alright, so it's these blocks we need to fill in, and then these blocks. Greenwich Village is pretty big. I mean, at least in this game. I know there's probably other things, but Greenwich Village is pretty big. I mean, East Village is huge, and Midtown is enormous. But for a, for a small neighborhood, Greenwich Village is big. But uh, we'll pick up on Greenwich Village next episode. So anyway, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.